Hi, this is Campbell and I'll be demoing a new feature I've been working on the past few days. So this is uh, a way to do painting. Um, it shares a lot of the code with projection painting, but it means you don't have to use Blender's paint tools. So all these are uh, occlude normal, these sort of features are used, but there's these two buttons here that I've added, view edit and apply. So you just click on view edit. It takes this image here and opens it in the GIMP. So you make a new layer on top of this. And I can't pretend to be artistic with this, but I'll just do something very quick. And you have to turn this layer off, so it's only it's only painting um, over the alpha channel. And you click apply, reloads the image, and it um, projects it onto, onto the model. So you can see it's using occlusion here between these two points and it's got the normal fall off there. It also does UV seams, so if you paint over UV seams you won't get nasty uh, sort of lines between them. And you can see that it doesn't drop the resolution of what it's not painting onto. So even though it's very uh, very coarse resolution here, um, it's it's still high resolution beneath. You can actually, s you could scale this, or I can do, do it now. You can scale the image to be twice as big. 200%. Oops. Okay. And we'll draw something else. Hmm. Okay, more of the same. Sorry about that. But anyway. Uh, and save. One nice thing about this also is you don't need to be in the, the view to project back on. The image itself stores the, the view angle. So you can see there's uh, high resolution lines being projected here. Okay, uh, it's going to go into shadeless mode. Um, now this is something that I found quite funny when I started working on this, but it's not really that useful. Just to give you an idea of how it works, so I'll show you. So you've got the image here. And so you just make one little change, or something like that. And don't add the alpha channels, like just paint directly on and save it. When you apply it back, it looks okay, except when you zoom out, you see uh, something quite familiar here. So <laughs> it's actually reprojecting the whole viewport, including the cursor and you know things like that. So you really need to add an alpha channel over the top. And just for fun, I'll well I'll undo that. You can undo this just like you can undo projection paint, and I'll uh, I'll just draw some silly things on top of this. Oops. Didn't mean that. Okay. Um, I'll try. Just try some filters. Try Predator. Save. Yep. Apply. Okay. So you can really see the normal fall off here, which is mostly what you want because really it doesn't work very well if you. You get a lot of tearing if, you, if it applies to the edges there. But um, for real use cases, you wouldn't want this here. So we'll, we would use this mostly for matte painting, I would think. For painting maybe parts of buildings or caves. Things that we, uh, we might only want to see from a certain angle. Um, okay. One more. And what can we do here? Hmm. Okay, this is horrible. Sorry, Sintel. <sighs> That's not really that interesting, but we'll see. Okay, well, if that's all you can expect. All right, well, I'm sure the artists in the studio will be able to make better use of this than I can, and probably you too, but I uh, hope you like it. Okay, 